In honor of last night's glamorous celebration, we have Garland Gravely here from Fashionista Rono to talk about all the glitz and glam that came down the Golden Globes runway. Garland, thank you so much for joining well, us thank today. Thank you for having yes. me. I'm excited. It was a great show. It was a great show. Yeah. You were, we were just talking about you enjoyed mm -hmm. every part of it, from Jimmy Fallon as host to the whole entire award ceremony. It was just very, uh, very entertaining. Very entertaining. Very upbeat. A lot of energy. It was fun. Yes, fun it show. was. All right, let's talk fashion. Yes. Okay. Yes, let's absolutely. talk about our, our best dress. Okay. Okay. Yes. Who do you think was best dressed? In my personal opinion, Evan Rachel Wood with the tuxedo. I thought okay. she looked okay, absolutely look. okay. stunning. All right. Oh, this is my best dress. That's your okay. dress. Okay. okay. Mine is first. So this is Mandy Moore. Uh, I loved it. Mm -hmm. I kind of like the plunging neckline. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know that you're not that big a fan. <laughs> I would never rock it, but I really liked it on her, and I liked the mm -hmm. cape, and I thought she looked so elegant and beautiful, and, you know, she's NBC, so I was like, have to, have to go for it. Well, there's no dispute that she's absolutely stunning mm -hmm. in it. Yeah. She looks great. Now, I did notice a lot of plunging Necklines. Yeah, some a people, lot of some neckline. people loved it. <laughs> yes. I didn't. I thought it took away from a lot of the um, the actresses, their mm -hmm. their looks. Mm -hmm. And then I, Reese Witherspoon's a favorite of mine. I love her. I just mm -hmm. think that she's classic. And then in the yellow was just beautiful. Love the yellow. Mm -hmm. And then your pick was Evan, Evan Rachel, Rachel Wood Evan. with the okay. tuxedo. I thought it was well tailored. I love the reason why she says she wore it. She wore why was that? For young, to inspire young girls and women to know that they don't always have to wear dresses. They can oh. wear something totally different. Mm -hmm. Also, it was a tribute to David Bowie, which oh. was his birthday. And also, it was a tribute to Marlena Didrick. And I thought she okay. looked great. And I mean, it was well yeah. tailored. And her hair looked The hair, beautiful. the whole look from head to toe, gorgeous. I and she did it. have a quote about it. And she was like, dresses are not required. Just be yourself, wear Absolutely. what you want and to wear. And that's the message I love that she put out there. She did an excellent job. Well, good that. for her. Yes, so, yes. so we talked a little bit about the trends. Um, what were some trends that you saw? I love the color yellow. Yellow is one of my favorite colors. Of course, the plunging neckline. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, also, the embellished gowns with the glitz and the sequins and the shimmer and the shine and little embellishments on the dresses. I loved a lot of that. And then there were sleeves. Sleeves, That absolutely. was a popular thing, too. What do you think of Natalie Portman? I loved her. I think she did an excellent... She channeled Jackie O, and yeah. she did a great job in doing she that. Did. See, look with the embellishments. It's so and sequins, bright. Bright. It was just A beautiful. lot of golds, a lot of... Sparkles. Sparkles and sequins and just the embellishment on, like, Sarah Jessica detail. Parker, what do you think of her? I loved it. She always just... Fast. She's very fashion for what I love like her, her dress. though. Yeah, I wasn't a fan. I wasn't a fan of, of, a fan of the SJP. hair. SJP, Drew Barrymore, of course. Not one of my faves, but I love her. So let's talk a little bit about men's trends as well. What did you see? Uh, the white tuxedo with Ryan Gosling, and also I love Pharrell Williams. He's always thinking outside of the box. He's very creative. I mean, he's a musician, so I loved his look. That was Chanel from mm -hmm. 2012, their Bombay collection. Of course, Ryan Gosling looked great. And I also like Justin Timberlake, too. I thought he looked really... Okay. That's the facial best hair, too. Facial hair was good. And facial hair. Facial hair was another big trend. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, I shaved this morning, so I should have <laughs> kept it. But, um, yeah, the facial hair was another big trend, so I think you're going to see a lot of that, too. And I think that's great. All so, right. who do you think dropped the ball last night? Who was the worst dressed in your opinion? Um, I, I know she's from the movie Games of Thrones, um, the TV show Games of Thrones. Yeah, I Sophia did not Turner. like yeah. Sophia Turner. I did not like her look at all. I felt I it was like a lot it. of look. It was too much going on, too much design. Mm -hmm. I thought I what a shame for an up and coming Absolutely, actress. Absolutely, because she's beautiful. She's she a beautiful is. woman. I just thought she, it was not a good choice. Right. I didn't like it. And yeah. your least favorite? My least was Jessica Biel. Once again, the, the plunging neckline didn't do anything for me. And I, I, was, I didn't like, really like the, and now, you know how much I love flower print, but I didn't like the little flowers that were on, on her dress. No, I didn't Yeah, like I have it. to agree with you, Natalie. I didn't care for that dress either. I felt like yeah. the flower print was just stuck on us, like it just somebody just stuck it on or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. It was, and then the same thing, I didn't really care for a lot of, the whole combination of it. It was too much, too much design to you with the plunging neckline yes. and you have to slit. I think it should be either one or the other. That's true. Yeah, okay, that's you other. don't want to give it all away. You don't right? give it all away. It should be one or the other. So absolutely, I agree with that too. Right. Okay. All right. Well,